Uh, Nate Brody, if you really are sorry for spewing the bullshit that you spewed, then stay the fuck away from us. You were wrong. You've been shown to be wrong. You backed the wrong horse because you had a hate boner for Steve McRae. So, you know what? It's on you. You now have to live with the fact that you backed a fucking fraudster. That you couldn't see the evidence that was right the fuck in front of you. So, from me to you, Nate Brody, fuck off, suck a dick, leave us the fuck alone, you piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, Nate, even, even your best friend, G-Man, said that Steve was right. <laughs> when it, when G Man can claim to be really, smarter than you, Nate. But is it really Nate's fault that his bias got in the way of actually observing evidence? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. Yes, it yeah. is. Absolutely. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. So so uh, I'm just gonna repeat it one more time just in case, Nate, you kinda tuned out. I don't want your fucking apology. I don't care to get your fucking apology. I don't care for a fucking super chat. You know what? Fuck you at the at this point. I don't care. So I just want to say this to you, and that's it. After that, you're fucking dead to me. Nate, if you truly are sorry, stay the fuck away. Stay the fuck away. You've been shown to be completely full of shit, and that's it. Nothing more needs to be said. Fuck off. So, you know what? It's on you. You now have to live with the fact that you backed a fucking fraudster. That you couldn't see the evidence that was right the fuck in front of you. Interesting. Interesting and, how that fucking just, works. So yes, Unirock, your tweets would have a lifespan of more than 24 hours. They wouldn't be completely fucking destroyed in 24 hours if you actually did your fucking research, you dipshit. That's why our information, the information that we put out, stands the test of time. Yours fucking doesn't and never will. That's why our information, the information that we put out, stands the test of time. Stands the test of time.